Namo Amitabha Buddha. Hello everyone. So a few days ago I received some messages from someone who was telling me that his mother was in critical condition due to COVID and he was thinking whether his family should recite the name of Maitreya Buddha or the name of Amitabha Buddha in order to seek rebirth in the Pure Land. So I wish I had seen these messages earlier so I could respond earlier. So obviously the family members also have some deep karmic connection with Maitreya Buddha and they were thinking about reciting the name of Maitreya Buddha to seek rebirth to Maitreya Buddha's pure land. Now for those who may not know, Maitreya Buddha also has his pure land in the Tusita heaven, the fourth level of the desire realm in the inner court of the Tusita heaven. So Maitreya Buddha or technically still Maitreya Bodhisattva resides in the inner court of the Tusita heaven to export the Dharma there and he will descend to the Saha world after 576 million years to be the successor of Shakyamuni Buddha so he is known as the future Buddha now why so long because uh, the lifespan in the Tusita heaven is 4,000 million years and one day in the Tusita heaven is equivalent to 400 years on earth so that is why if we convert the time it will be roughly around 576 million years to material body Sabha to descend to the Saha world to realize Buddhahood and to turn the Dharma wheel. Now in the past there have also been people uh, practiced method to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land in the Tusita heaven. However, I'm gonna tell you that please when situations like this happens, always, always seek rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land, always single-mindedly recite the name of Amitabha Buddha and to seek rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land. So why is that? Definitely nothing against Maitreya Bodhisattva, but a Bodhisattva's pure land is still quite different from a Buddha's pure land. And it's actually not easy to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land. The ease of entry is very different. It's much much more easier for an ordinary being who is unenlightened to attain rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land due to Amitabha Buddha's great vow, his promise to deliver us if we have faith in that. Whereas you cannot rely on Maitreya Bodhisattva to come to deliver you. He did not have this kind of vow. So you actually need to have really, really great cultivation in order for your consciousness to actually resonate with the realm of Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land and to see the heaven so then you can attain rebirth successfully. You need to practice in accordance to the sutra, the Maitreya Contemplation Sutra. Generally, for anyone who want to attain rebirth to Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land, one should cultivate the five precepts and even the eight precepts and also the ten good deeds. Now, remember when we talk about attaining rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land, these practices are recommended as one will attain a higher grade of rebirth, but they're not compulsory. Whereas for beings who want to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land, these practices are kind of compulsory. And in addition to that, one also needs to attain a good level of meditative concentration so one can resonate with the realm of Tusita heaven and rely on one's self-effort to attain rebirth in the Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land. So as we can see, it's relatively difficult to attain rebirth to Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land compared to attaining rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land. So there had also been some Dharma masters who aspired to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land, but some of them had also failed. So this was also because it's again really difficult to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land. And Maitreya Bodhisattva is only teaching in the inner court in the Tusita heaven. So the Tusita heaven has the outer core and the inner court. And in the outer court, remember it's still in the desire. So the outer court, there are lots of beautiful goddesses, a lot of desires and temptations. And there have also been Dharma masters who attempted to seek rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land, but they ended up in the outer court. 
because they were not so resonant with the inner court. So they uh, just totally lost their cultivation. They're again drowned in attachment and desire and it's still in the desire and it's in the Saha world. So they have not accidents from the cycle of reincarnation and what happens after the lifespan in their two-seater heaven has finished is most likely due to they are so much attached to desire and temptations they might just fall into the three evil realms. So it's actually quite difficult to attain rebirth in Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land. So that's why I always recite the name of Amitabha Buddha. And what's more, for one who actually successfully attained rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land, you will actually meet Maitreya Bodhisattva there. Maitreya Bodhisattva also has incarnation in Amitabha Buddha's pure land and he is also there to learn from Amitabha Buddha. So this we can actually see in the practices and vows of Bodhisattva Samadabhadra. So the chapter of the sutra which we are currently studying in our weekly sutra discussions and you will see that towards the end of the sutra it mentions how when one attains rebirth in a pure land, one will meet Bodhisattva Manjusri, Bodhisattva Samadabhadra, Bodhisattva Guan Yin, and also Bodhisattva Maitreya. So if you really have a deep karmic connection with Maitreya Bodhisattva and you very much like to be close to him, then the easiest way is really to first attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land. Then you will be able to meet Maitreya Bodhisattva there. And from there, you actually will be free to travel to all different Buddha lands in the 10 directions. Whether you want to visit Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land in the Tusita heaven, or you want to go to Medicine Buddha's pure land in the east, or you want to come back to the Sahara to see Shakyamuni Buddha. So you can all do that. You will be totally and absolutely free and it is the easiest for anyone to attain rebirth to Amitabha Buddha's pure land due to Amitabha Buddha's great vows. Now the person who messaged me, his mother was not even a Buddhist practitioner. It would have been much easier for her to attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land than to Maitreya Bodhisattva's pure land. But it is still better than nothing. For anyone who can hear just any name of a Buddha or Bodhisattva at the time of death, it will still bring the person countless benefit. And he told me his mother actually exited peacefully, so that is very good. That's good news. Also maybe because she heard the name of Maitreya Bodhisattva, Maitreya Buddha, so she can attain peace of mind. So now it's good for anyone to just hear any name of the Buddha and Bodhisattva at the time of exit. However, if we want like the best result, we should always get them to recite the name of Amitabha Buddha with faith and vow. And even 10 recitations, Amitabha Buddha will come to deliver this person to the Pure Land. So may all beings hear the name of Amitabha Buddha and attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha.